Morning, folks. I need to put a sticky note on my desktop or something because I love to keep talking while I'm muted. All right, we're back with some airships conquer the skies. We're picking up on the campaign that I was playing on last time, Zybar. Um, and as you can see, our fortunes have changed in the war. We're no longer the single county country that we once were. Um, we've managed to expand and basically become the largest world power. Um, this blue nation at one point was also competing for that title. Uh, they've since really kind of fallen into disrepair. So I'm not, at this point, nobody really has the strength to uh, go toe to toe with me. Um, so this episode, we're not going to be struggling for survival in a brutal contest of scrappiness. Instead, we're going to be playing with some of the cool technologies that I simply couldn't afford in the earlier part of the campaign. So we've got, now I cooked up some ships. Let's pull up that ship designer. Show off some of these things. Okay, so this was our original bomber and it, it saw some pretty good usage. Um, specifically, once uh, we ran into a country that was using borders, this guy was great because he could fly above the borders and bomb the hell out of them and they couldn't catch onto the ship. So uh, he, did, he did some work during that time. This ship is garbage. Um, I stopped using that immediately. It was way too expensive for how terrible it was. This was our own boarding ship. Now this is like the Model 2. Uh, the original model was smaller. This one has enough space for three marine barracks which is enough to pretty reliably capture any building. Um, so I was using this to, I mean, I, most of our fleet is built out of ships that I stole using the hoplite. Um, and this is our heavy bomber, the, the Justicar. So it's got some light rifling on the front. It's got pressurized suspendium dust tanks along the length of the ship um, and those I mean they come at a cost that they're extremely volatile so I that said I have medium armor and those are plated in medium armor so they're not able to be punctured by anything less than a cannonball um, which is good and the bottom of the ship we've got four bomb bays this thing pours damage out of it um, it's not cheap though it's pretty pretty expensive for a bomber uh, but it it's pretty fast it's got that that really nice um, can I delete this probably um, it's got this really nice uh, propeller on it. it it can move now the flagship of my fleet is this extravagant, ridiculous uh, Imperatus. This guy has... Well, I didn't have large suspendium chambers yet, so we've got one, two, three, four suspendium chambers um, <laughs> and pressurized suspendium dust tanks. Uh, we're rocking one, two, three, four regular cannons, a Imperial cannon, two of those little grape shot cannons, and several rifles. Oh, I think we also have grape shot cannons on the back and some more rifles on the back. This guy is meant to, I mean, this is, this is the flagship of my fleet. It's a small city. In fact, it's so big that it gets a penalty to... Uh, structural integrity, whatever that means. Not sure what it means yet, but let's see. Um, so I'm in the process of building this one, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's check out all of our fleets. We've got one fleet here. 
She has a Justicar and a Dervish. This one, it's got two of these. I don't know what these are actually. The model is called, but these are the ones I stole from that neighbor that used to be whooping my butt. Um, okay, this one's got Hoplite, one of these little guys, and two of those ships that I stole. I mean, I also stole this ship. I didn't build this. I don't have the tech to do these things. Um, they're like little fighters that pop out. Where's he going? Oh, he's just sitting there. Okay. We've got uh, my little tank here. He's pretty fun. Um, it's a tank with a buzzsaw attached to it. He's not terribly... What are you doing, buddy? Move. Okay. Um... He's not a sophisticated weapon. It's just an enormous buzzsaw, uh, but it is very effective. Okay, so this is our bomber fleet. This is a great case for, I mean, this is the perfect thing that this was built for. It was also built to counter the boarding ships. It flies slightly higher than the border ships can get. And it if it stays up as high as it can go, it stays out of range of their, uh, grappling hooks now the enemy that I've been fighting does have the capability of all right we're gonna have you guys move up here bombs away they have the the ability to they shoot harpoons into it and they can drag uh, a ship that flies higher than them down towards them which is Super annoying. All right, let's get you up out of the way. It's a little risky piling them on top of each other like this. I hope they're all in. I'll put them in accurate mode. We're kind of high up, so. You know, we might actually benefit from moving down, I think, because Then we can put them in regular. Get those bombs moving a little bit faster. There we go. Now I think this guy looks all right. He looked better than, uh, uh, he looked better before I had to adjust. Um, I needed an additional air tank and so it, the air tank is actually in the hull of the ship, which is not good. I, it's a mistake in the design. I've had it pop and take out the entire ship before, so. But when I was fighting the borders, I really needed to get an extra 10 meters higher to avoid their grappling hooks, so. Comes at a cost. Okay, let's go ahead and take this as well. They, I don't even think they have a fleet. I think this guy is free for the taking right now. Um, so whenever my, somebody was building something. Where did that go? Something weird is going on here. I, I don't seem to be able to move past this little town. Can you do something? He's just sitting there. Okay, well, he, we may have found another bug there. Oh, we that's why. It won't advance time until I decide what I'm going to do with Clogram. We're going to keep it, so I mean, we're far enough in the war that I'm not, and this guy doesn't have any way to take it back. I really, really want to take this city, but it has a ton of building defenses. Oh, good. We have a spy here, so let's check this out.
This is not as bad as it was before. I think we could take this. Um, we could incite revolt for a thousand bucks, but I, that probably wouldn't help me. It would just make it a new enemy that I would need to fight. Okay, so where's that new fleet that I was building? Okay, we have a just a car refit up at Retro Retropolis. I've got small shipyards all the way from top to bottom. Yeah, I don't actually have a large shipyard. This is a huge shipyard. So if I take this, this would help me with my ambitions to... Okay, well, we took that. So let's go ahead and invade here and pale with with my hoplite and I I really would like this large shipyard. <clears throat> it's also worth almost 90 income. That's got to be floating this guy. All right. Uh, we'll do another gentle takeover. Okay. Forgot about that guy. He's running back up north, even though he doesn't need to. Uh-oh. Where are my other two ships? Oh. This is down south. Okay, we're fighting... It's just the, the butt plug bunker. That's what I call it. Bombs away. Oh, nice shot. Got him right in something valuable. Okay, we're going to go ahead and advance. We need our, our shots to count. Come on, boys. Uh-oh. Shit. Alright, that one's going down. Maybe we can get him to land before anything terrible happens to him. Ground the ship! Alright. We're gonna keep this one back here. a lot of fire. Oh, they're down to one cannon. Okay. Come on, boys. And you're out of ammo. Of course you're out of ammo. Uh. Okay. Okay, they surrendered. I, I don't think they probably should have. I think I had technically lost that fight. Okay. It's mine now. And this fleet is toast. I don't repair these ships. They're terrible. They're kind of expensive. Um, the only good thing about them is they have very low maintenance. So I use them until they break, and then I throw them in the garbage. So I'm going to have him run back to Inapec and disassemble him for parts. Now we've got this medium shipyard over here, and I'm going to use that to produce some stuff. Breakfast. Go ahead and order up. We need to now we can afford the Imperatus, but I don't want to build it at this port. You know what? I could use another hoplite. Let's 
just have that cooking. It's time for the big battle. Move you down here. This guy doesn't need to get any closer. He's got two rifles on him. But mostly his little, uh, the little ships do all of the work. Okay, so we'll try to have them focus down this front tower and we'll send the borders back to the second one to take over it. All right, let's go ahead and pause for a sec. Give you guys your marching orders. Fire on that. Hoplite, you're gonna move up to this position. What, no. I don't remember what we have equipped on the front of this. I think it's a flamethrower. So the hoplite actually has a decent weapon other than just boarding people. Okay, we're gonna have them move down like this. Go, 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 go. Okay, there, see there's so many Marines that we're probably gonna be able to take that ship and then also uh, Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can. You know what? We're going to go ahead and pull these guys back. Um, and we're going to have them hold their fire. And what we'll do is we'll just tell this guy to send troops over to the second building. They should just be able to walk over there. So, yeah. Nobody's in that building, so we flamed them out. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do a brutal takeover. Normally I don't, but I want that large shipyard, so. And we need to use it to build our flagship. Enemy fleet incoming. Somebody's headed towards Pale. Wow, that's ambitious of you. Who's headed here? Iron. No, the name of the enemy is Pale. They must have started here, and they just lost their home territories. Okay, well, could I send somebody over there fast enough? The hoplites are pretty fast. They could probably make it. These guys are way too slow. Um, depending on how big the fleet is, I think we're just gonna lose the city. We'll take it back in a minute. I wouldn't mind making them engage me in a, a fight, though. So we'll go ahead and shift troops up that way. Have him move back this way. And the shipyard is ready. It really only lost like $20, $20 per month in income. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. It'll be the 
Imperatus. Pale birth versus Zybar. I imagine we don't. Yeah, see, this is the enemy that has these little blimps that carry stuff. All we've got is a little sentinel. Yeah, this is going to go great. Actually, I mean, depending on what weapons this thing has on board, it's got two rifles each. Yeah, we'll, we'll accelerate it. Wow. They were much more effective than I imagined they would be. I think they got some lucky shots. Okay, well, we'll take Iron back in a minute. Uh, we'll need something that has uh, the capability to take those, take out those little ships. I mean, the hoplite can hop on one of the ships and take over it, but it doesn't take over its little spawned smaller ships. So we'll need to have something for that. Thinking we might want to wait until we get. Let's go ahead and send a spy here. I don't know what this city looks like. I think we'll also spend a, send a spy here. Oh, they do have a fleet. It's over here taking new territory. I was thinking we were about to squish them out. Uh-oh, we've got incoming. Um, can we beat them there? Okay, we've got a spy ready. You know, we could have beat them if I had been paying attention when that popped up. They've got one butt plug one of these big ones and one small one. Well, the bombers can for sure take out this. The border could take out this. That fleet that I have down there isn't going to be strong enough to do it. But... Are they gonna make it to the town in time? I don't think so. Of course not. Uncontested defeat. And now we get in a fight. This isn't a good fight. I'm gonna flee this one. Uh, we'll let the other group fight that. Yeah, because I had two fleets that were right there. We're gonna pull these two back so they keep them in their firing arcs. He can stay up at the front. I'm fine with that. And then we're going to board the one in the back. I'm going to flip around like this. Get ready to grapple. And let's put them in range. No, 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 no. Come on. Give them in range. There we go. No, stop, stop shooting it. <laughs> it's our ship. Please don't blow it up. Okay. So we boarded that pretty successfully. I think we'll try to board the other one instead of blowing it up. As soon as they have the bridge, we can... Right. I have them move like right here, and I'm gonna have this guy get out of the way. We have any guys still on the outside of our ship. I can't. I think there's a couple. All right. 
right screw this we're going to pop them i think these guys are on hold your fire right now we're going to let them wow I think all of our borders got shot off, so. That's okay. We still got our hot, our flamethrowers, so we're gonna try to get that in range. There we go. Fire away, boys. Get out from underneath him. God. Okay. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just want to... If we can disarm him, then it's good enough. Still got those fucking come on. Alright, we'll just have to pop all of his balloons. That's what it's gonna take to take this guy out. If we can immobilize him, he'll have to give up. have this guy just want him to pop that balloon yeah there we go okay you should you should have to forfeit now right Incoming fleet. Tibia is trying to attack Quagrum. I don't think so. I think we can defend that. Oh, we've got to decide what we want to do here. Oh, this is my territory. I don't want to pillage it. Okay. So now we've got one of our good bombers, a capturing ship, Two of these vanguards. Yeah, that should be good. I think we lost one of these, but we also got one from capturing the enemies. And with, with them having just lost that fight, I'd like to take it back to them a little bit. So we're not just playing a defensive game. Can we make it in time? Okay, well, hopefully they do some damage, but probably not that much. He's actually pretty well defended against these little things. Do they rebuild them, or do they just repair them? I think they just repair them.
who blew up his his dust tank and somehow it made him go upwards. Can we make this go any faster? I think our guys are fighting admirably. Yeah. Come on. Take out his little rifleman. That's what we need. Cool. Great job, little building. And for that, we are... I want... How close is our ship to being done? Oh, it's so close to being finished. Impale. No, no. That bar gets darker as it fills up. Okay, not even close to being done. We did get another hoplite, though. So if I send this over to Quagrum, that should give us enough of a fleet to take Gomdat. Ooh, we've got a fight. <laughs> okay, yeah. We don't want to do any bombing. The only thing I want to do is run in there and capture the building. There's nothing wrong with that building. I'd rather not blow it up. Okay, so guys, hold your fire. He's going to move in and squat right on top of it like that. And he surrendered. Good choice. I think we could take their port. This is a pretty decent fleet. We've got some good variety here. A lot of firepower. Let's do it. While we wait for this fleet to kind of collect itself. OK, let's get this guy to come back home. So the problem with the land ships is they're kind of a pain in the butt to control because like it's fine that they have to follow along the roads sure but the fact that I have to tell them to move in increments of just like one city at a time is super annoying because I don't know that they're stuck there's no kind of notifications that are like well this person arrived at their destination okay Wow. Oh, shoot. OK, so they've got all kinds of, I think these are flat cannons on top. We'll see. If I, I just need my borders to be able to hop off and jump into that building. Uh, hopefully, they last that long. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll need to take that with the, the borders. We're definitely not going to be able to sit on top of it and bomb it into submission. And we'll have the bombers hang low for a little bit until, uh, until that looks safe. All right, it's nighttime, so our guns are going to be less accurate, but that's fine. It's actually kind of in our favor. All right, let's get you up there, buddy. Uh-oh, we've got rockets incoming. Yeah, I'm hoping that the hoplite, we may not survive this, but uh, get out there. Come on, come on, boys. Oh, damn it, they're getting shot off before they land. Okay, that was an utter failure. Oh my god, that was terrible. Okay, every hoplite got, or every one of our soldiers got shot out of the sky. Have we lost our sails? Is that what's going on? Come on. All right, I think we've lost control of that. Uh, I'm gonna flee. Nothing's been broken yet. 
we might try that fight again and just do it smarter. So I don't know if this is cheating, <laughs> but it doesn't stop me from doing it. Okay, what have we got options wise? So we just finished getting the large suspendium chambers. I wonder what this does. Could be fun. <clears throat> um, the other thing I'd like are better, better borders. So I'm thinking we go for harpoons and then dragoons. And I think we have enough money to pay for Empire of Science now. Yeah, we're, we're making a lot of money especially after we take this town. All right, have them get like that. This time, uh, I'm gonna let these guys fire for a little bit before we try to, oh. No, we did lose our, our boarding ship. I think they knocked the propeller off of it, and that was enough to consider it a loss. That sucks. Okay, well, let's start. Let's put everybody in accurate mode for now. We're gonna move the Justicar up into position. We're gonna have to try to bomb them. I'm hoping we don't lose the Justicar doing this. Ooh. It's making me real nervous with those. And we'll swap to rapid fire as we get above him. Come on. Let's go to normal. They're like, they're 10 feet above the thing, and they're lobbing bombs 100 miles away. All right, I think we've got them, actually. That is what this was for. Sieging cities. Yeah, if one of those rockets had hit the, the canvas-type balloon, we'd be done already. So it it's worth its weight in gold. Slamming that middle section. We hit the rockets. <laughs> Come on, there's like nothing left. Are they are they cheering? There we go. I think we hit the last of their ammo. Okay. And this is a medium shipyard. I, uh, you know, I'm kind of okay with the brutal takeover. Let's rebuild that hoplite that I lost. We're gonna need another one of those, so let's go ahead and order that up. I'm wondering if we should... Let's cancel for a sec. Let's open up the design for that. We haven't worked on any of our ships so far. Now, it's going to make this thing cost more, but I think it would make it more likely to survive one or two of these fights. If we used... Okay. Let's see. 
so we want to use suspendium pressurized suspendium tanks instead of these large suspendium dust tanks this thing generates 2200 lift 900 lift and they cost the same actually this costs slightly more than that one did and we're going to put armor on it which is going to make it weigh even more <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think this is going to be cost effective. These are meant to be kind of throwaway. All right. Oh well, we're going to we're going to not build that thing. I do want another one though. I think the flak was especially good at killing them cuz they have to climb out on top of the rigging. And then they leap from the rigging down onto the, the thing that you're trying to to board. And the flak has splash damage, and they don't have very much health. So when that flak would hit my ship, it would just kill four or five of them at a time. Okay. Do we have our reinforcements yet? No. We're still waiting on that. And we're waiting up here. Okay, Retropolis, unless you're a tiny shipyard, I think we need to have you build something. You are a tiny shipyard. I don't like using them. They just take so long to do anything. Ooh, what do we have back here? We've got another little small fleet. I'm gonna go ahead and send it up here as a deterrent force. It can't do much of anything. In fact, I think, oh, this is the one that I need to scrap. Okay. I forgot about this one. Yeah, it's it's already missing its suspendium chamber. So this thing is basically worthless. We'll keep its friend. Um, I'll just send it. it. It's useless on its own. But uh, we'll send it north. Oh, we got an incoming fleet. Where are they headed? To Irem. Well, I'm right next to Irem. You know what? And sure, in the time it, he will spend trying to get to Irem, I'll take two of his other counties. All right, we need to repair this bad boy. <laughs> uh, we'll work on, after I finish the thing that I'm doing right now, we're going to work on getting some better movement the treads are not great i keep having them blow up and we're kind of slow i know the spider legs are crazy fast and we could have some fun terrorizing the countryside with a, a spider tank okay keep moving wow they actually have a little defense here. Okay. Okay. Too bad I don't have my borders. This would have been easy with the borders. Okay. We're going to have these guys line up like that. And then my bomber is going to just come in from above and take out stuff. Okay. You guys need to be on aimed fire, and you are. We're going to have you move up to this position. Have them come up a little bit, and then I'm gonna have them go under the islands. I think the rifles have better accuracy than, the, well, I know that they have better accuracy than the bombs. Oh, good choice, buddies. All right, and for that, you get a gentle takeover. I appreciate your sacrifice. Good choice. We really need to squash this guy. Uh, just so that I don't have that flank to worry about. But for now, we've got this fleet in Quagrum. It is ready to go. We're going to take Gomdat. I want that port. Okay. I imagine these guys are just going to 
Surrender? Yep. Ooh. Okay, I need to remember as soon as this is this fight is over, we need to pause and move over to the bomb the hell out of this one. We're going to board the big one. I guess I'll send the bomber to start working on this back side. I think that would be good. And I want him to come in from above. I don't want him to get shot by the cannons. Actually, all of these should come from above. The only thing I'm worried about is they're kind of stupid, so they bumble into each other and get stuck. All right, we're going to have to make it work. <clears throat> so, you, my friend, I want you to move right here. Please don't run into this. Okay, you are gonna move upwards and also help bomb that. Make sure that's lined up right. And then this guy <clears throat> is gonna move and we'll get him to here first and then I'll give him a second order. And they didn't get out of the way in time. Of course not. There we go. That's gonna do it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get up here. So he's gonna be right there. We'll need to go ahead and pull up all the way to here. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, and now we're going to gently descend on our prey. Watch the fireworks begin! Okay, I think we're too high for the Marines to jump off, so we'll need to duck down a little bit. Come on, go, 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 go! God, stupid pilot is, uh, he's worried about running into this, the top of this building here. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Why are you right here? Oh, I told it to go to the wrong building. Oops. Okay, we're gonna have it pull back over here and help bomb this first one. Have this guy flip around. Come on, come on, come on. Keep that suspendium dust tank from popping. I think our strategy worked. I, I've tried to do this a bunch of times, and it's never panned out for me. Or we take the, the strongest one with um, the borders, and then we use the guns in that strongest defense building to basically blow up all the other ones. Nice. And this way we also have the benefit of keeping that best defense building, so we'll have it next time that somebody attacks us. All right. It is a huge shipyard. Ooh, wonderful. I 
don't need the building capacity yet i need money i forgot to ok we're going to where is that guy going ok i might just have to send our bombers i think these guys are going to slow us down too much to make it there in time so we're going to send just the just a car and uh, he's headed to Irem, so we'll send those two. I think that they will beat them. It's an above average speed for ships. Now we know what this one looks like too. Let's see. Dear Lord, okay. Yeah, we aren't gonna be taking over that with that little attacking force. Now, it's really, really vulnerable to bombing. So maybe we'll move another bomber over to this area. They've got these cannons with the firing arcs that are going to be like this. So sitting above them, we should be untouchable. I don't know. We might be able to take it with this fleet that we have here. It's two bombers and a and the hoplite. The thing I'm worried about, though, is that the hoplite has that. I mean, both the the dervish and the hoplite have these canvas balloons, and the th those buildings have a lot of rifles on them, and those rifles are pretty good at popping those canvas balloons. So I'd like to shift an additional, that would do it. Send me another hoplite and uh, we'll just take two of the buildings. Then we only have to blow up two of them. We'll blow up the little butt plug bunkers. That's what I thought. Quanorp. Okay, so he's decided to go after Quanorp instead because he couldn't get to Iram. Well, you know, in that case, I'm just going to put pressure on him so he gets on the defensive. And let's have him come in and attack here. What are these? Just two of those guys? They should be able to flip a small base. They're not good. Yeah, I'll, I'll make that trade all day long. One city for two cities. Okay. I'm going to just a decent shipyard up here. I, I feel like making something stupid. Let's build something. Now, we'll have to look at what weapons I've got unlocked. I think that's going to drive what kind of ship we're building. So we've got... Oh, we could build a ramming ship. You know what? Actually, let's look and see what kind of land ships I could I could make. We've got large tracks. Uh, how fast are they? Well, they're huge. I only need three crew members to operate. Okay. I'm thinking we could make one of these that is equipped with a bunch of rockets and on the front of it we put a giant flamethrower. Maybe some Gatling guns up top. What's the firing arc on these? Not great. Okay. Oh, but we have deck guns now. That could be nice. So I want one that could actually... Uh, the one that we have right now is it can't fight anything that's above it so 
What did the original ones look like? Just like this? Okay. Get rid of those. Thank you. And we'll need this kind of centrally located, I think. Maybe we pull it back a little bit. I'm worried about putting things out in front of the treads uh, just because we might get in a situation where I, the firing arc gets wonky. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have that flamethrower there. I wanna have some deck guns up top. So these will actually be able to fire out in front of us so they can behave like regular cannons if we want them to. And I want some defense against those stupid little, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have this little tower on the back like this. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Okay, how much does this cost so far? I mean, it's not cheap, but we're at, I, most of that cost is probably the giant flamethrower. I think it costs 600 <laughs> alone. Uh, and you can, like, check this out. So it's 15 blast damage with, uh, I mean, it's gonna shoot do that damage 20 times per second. And its maximum range is 50 meters. The little flamethrower, which costs a tenth the amount, it only does five blast damage. It does the same rate of fire, um, and it's got sh slightly shorter range. But um, the reason why this one is so much better is armor, especially when we're going up against buildings with this thing. Uh, the 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 regular flamethrower, if they've got some kind of steel armor, it's just not going to cut it. Uh, it, it won't actually do anything. So, I can, I can trim it down a little bit like that. Seems pretty good to me. We could also replace these with rockets um, if I'm feeling stupid. It would be more fun. But uh, I need this to actually function. And if we strap a bunch of rockets to this thing, the rockets like to chain detonate. So I'm not a, not a huge fan of that. All right, we're definitely gonna need a guard barracks. We've got one of my nearby enemies uses borders and uh, I don't want to lose this to him. I think it's gonna be big enough that it would be valuable. Let's check out the explosion radius on that thing. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. I think that gives us pretty good access to that ammo store from all around. Then maybe another little small ammo store up here. Yeah, yeah. Put two of these little fire extinguishers. Put a fire extinguisher up here and in here. This one doesn't make a lot of sense actually, so we're not gonna do that. We'll put one here though. Or even better, I'm just gonna put the fire point right next to all of this stuff. We're gonna have the coal store down here. That. And I'm gonna put how much does this cost? Machine shop costs 200 and something. Well, we'll just put a repair bay. I think that will be enough. We should put this more centralized. Everything's gonna need access to this, so. I think 
we can afford another fire point up here. And now where's where's the stuff for command and crew? All right, we're gonna need a crow's nest. Uh, nobody's gonna be able to get to this because the small ammo store is in the way. All right, we're gonna have to swap it out because we we need the crow's nest more than we need the ammo up here. And. We need a sick bay. How much does this cost? 26 bucks? I'll take it. Normally, I leave the sick bay off just because, you know, it. By the time you've got a bunch of wounded guys, it's kind of too late for that ship, anyways. Now we need some quarters. And we need a bridge. We still don't have that. Uh, I'm still going to put this small ammo store right here. That looks like a good spot for it. I don't know what we're going to put in this little area. Doesn't seem to be anything that would fit there very well. Now, I could put it here and then put the the bridge right above it. That kind of makes sense. Okay, I like that. Now, how much more crew do we need? We need quite a bit. And we're gonna need some guard barracks. Put that there. Let's look for the crew quarters. We're going to need at least one more of these. Um, our whole ship is very strangely shaped right now, and I, I don't know what to do with the rest of all the space that we have, because we, we don't need it for what we have. I mean, we could bring some another ammo store, but these are just, uh, it's a huge vulnerability having that around. So maybe we'll just have the backside of this thing built out of like struts. I wonder how that'll look. Probably pretty dumb. Okay, let's go to structural struts. Do I need to give access to the back side of this building is what I'm wondering. Do something like this and then we just throw a corridor down like that. everything connected ships modules are not mutually connected okay oh yeah because we've got a gaping hole in the center of our ship how does this look from the outside weird very weird um, let's go to It's really slow again. I was hoping that the treads just are not fast, I think, is the, the, there's no way around it. Let's see if we can't put something kind of cool right here, like that. It fits, it's too big though. And then on the back side, we're gonna spice it up a little bit with one of these curved pieces. Can't. No. No, that would be that would be dumb. 
<laughs> wondering if you could attach like a propeller or sails to the thing and make like a land ship out of it. But no, no, you can't do that. Okay. So, how are we doing on crew? We got less than we're supposed to have. So, where can I include more crew? I think it would look okay right here. We're going to have a weird... Oh, you know what? We're going to put it here because that had a little... There's the quarters. There we go. I don't think these come with the ladder, though, so that's going to be a problem. What I can do is go ahead and move this out like this, um, and we're going to put that... ladder there and in here we're gonna we are gonna put that quarters okay okay and give me those struts back how does this look from the outside pretty stupid pretty stupid uh, that's I really hate that. Let's try one of these. that look also done all right we're gonna get rid of that stuff I'm okay with the deck up top that's fine now I could do something to make this less jagged but I unless I'm gonna fill it up I'm okay with the way that it is all right we're gonna move on Go ahead and armor the hell out of this thing. How much does it cost now? Not too bad. Not too bad. And it's going to be tanky as, tanky as hell. The Harbinger. I like it. So I've been going with a kind of a black fill. Do something like that. And then we'll need the coat of arms. A nice flag up top. I feel like this ship is far too ugly to get one of these gold leaves put on it. It's more of a utilitarian thing. And no, we don't make pretty ships, we make functional ships. Hate that. I think it would go up here. A little bit bigger than that. That's much too small for the size of this ship. Okay, let's go with the small one. Okay. And we can spice it up with some of these cages and things. Let's turn off this overlay. And 
this one's going to get a lot of these more metal parts. It's like a nice little inlaid statue. That's kind of cool. All right. She's not pretty, but she is functional. How? OK. Uh, let's go back to the modules. I thought we had resolved this. Oh, well. OK, so now we're going to Put that back. Now we are going to have to remove these two, shift them over a little bit. They're, at this point, I kind of want to just put another one just to like finish out the. Can we put something small in this slot? I mean, I could just put corridor. It doesn't go anywhere, but it might look better than... It does look better. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with that. So let's go back to the paint. Let's fix up our paint job. Okay. Oh, I wanted to... I accidentally popped one of these guys off. I want to put it back. Now we have to hope that this piece doesn't get shot off or we're going to lose access to the bottom half of our ship. We need more supply hatches. Okay, so we're actually going to be able to fill this whole area. Probably, or at least put it in that that section that I just filled with corridors for no reason. Yeah, let's do that. And oh, we're gonna we need one of those. And we need supply hatches. Steel supply hatches. Do we have enough? No. I think we can put one of the large ones right here, and that'll do it for us. Come on, there's a big version of this. Where is it? Steel cargo door, that's it. Ah, and it also acts as a second ladder. I like that. Ships modules are not all mutually accessible. What's cut off right here? So, this little small ammo store that's causing the problem. Well, in the beginning I was having trouble thinking of what to put in these slots and now we have too much. This is just a guard barracks underneath and then a sick bay. We have room for some of this stuff in the front. I wouldn't hate doing this instead. And then we can put our small ammo store like this. 
and run corridor with ladder up through here like that. Okay, that's better. Give me a fire extinguisher, please. I'll put one right here. Okay. And again, we'll fix up our paint job. This time we don't have any errors, so we shouldn't be doing this again. Oh, she's ugly. She is so ugly. Let's go. All right, this is going to be the Harbinger. Builder. So we've got a ship incoming here and there. I will have that new land ship soon enough. Ooh, what are those? It's like heavy artillery, like you would have on a battleship. I'm wondering how it's gonna fare against flying targets. Hopefully they're not super accurate. I don't know anything about them though, so we'll find out. I wanna get this guy to pull back a little bit so I can get this one. There we go. All right, get your butt in there. Oh, I don't, oh, they gave up. Great, just don't shoot my ships, please. That's mine now. Thank you. This is also going to be mine. Hopefully it gives up. Oh, this actually might be a little bit of a problem. Um, he's not going to be able to hit me because the sun is in his eyes, but his little... Uh, whatever these are. Might be able to do some serious damage to me. The best that we can hope for is that we take out his ammo stores. Because I don't have any kind of defense for these little flying ships. You know what? We might retreat from this. I'm Because I, they're just going to get picked apart by those little tiny ships. you got to have some rifles on your boats or they uh, you don't have a way to hit them. Okay, well, I'm going to have this guy come and join back up with the main fleet, and then they'll go and confront whatever that is. All right, let's invade there. We've got a serious fleet down here. Let's go take Kranzberg and unite my empire. Ooh, we've got harpooners now. So, what I'd like double bomb accuracy? <laughs> oh, man. I, this also would be cool to get aerial torpedoes. We don't ever fight anything that's like really large, but uh, can we get can we get the spider legs? We can get regular legs. Let's do that. Let's do that first. He's just got one of these again. Um, well, this should be easy enough. We'll move these guys back so that they have shots. And the light is shining in his eyes. Let's start. And we're gonna have you fly right here and just 
bomb the hell out of them. Enjoy. Bombs away! Come on. Alright, we got some good hits from that. I think if we can ground him, I mean, this is gonna be a piece of cake. Come on, guys. Aim the damn bombs. Ooh, good hit. This whole ship is on fire, so I think we're going to be okay. Come on. Woo! Took off the back half. should have crushed that. That ship should be dead dead. I don't think they should get to keep that. Great. Okay, that took out his fleet. I mean, it's not much of a fleet if it's just one ship, though, right? So, I think we should marshal over here and get ready to invade this town. I need to send a spy, though. Let's go ahead and send the land ship over here too. Okay. Uh oh. This bomber is wounded. I didn't notice that. Okay. So let's make way. These guys are going to have to rush in. Hopefully they make it before the cannons take them out. Maybe I'll keep them high. We'll, we'll just scoot the bombers back. We want everybody to stay as high as possible, I think, for this one. I want you two to come up here like this. Have you scoot down just a little bit. Make some room. And then we'll tell those two to swoop down there. Yeah, I don't want to, to get in the way. There's nothing worse than having one of your actions canceled because you bumbled into yourself. Okay, I'm gonna have them come and stop right there. Hurry guys, get in there. Okay, we're in range. We're gonna go ahead and start giving the orders to board Did he do it? Come on, board. Oh, they have defenses this time. Come on, guys, get down there. I think we've got a dude standing in the rigging still, even though he doesn't need to be. All right, pull down just a tiny bit so that your guys have an easier jump. Uh, maybe those guys are working the rigging. That's probably what that is. Okay. So, I'm not sure what our odds are here. They do have some defenses. They've got a guard barracks per building. We'll have to see if that's enough. Now, I completely forgot to control these two. Crap. He's already taken a ton of damage. So we'll have him come up here. We'll have him come up here. Oh, I think we have thoroughly lost this fight. So I'm gonna go ahead and retreat while we still have our ships. That wasn't what I was hoping to have happen there. How big is this shipyard? 
small oh well this one's huge so let's go back there could have gone better Ooh, what is this? This is some new faction. I wasn't paying attention and we probably had a rebellion or something or maybe an alliance. Okay, we've got, where is he headed? These guys are just joining forces. We have a spy here. He can tell us, okay, they've got deck guns, those weird little side cannons. These things suck. It doesn't make any sense to use them on the sides of your buildings like that. Um, and they've got a single boarding craft, it looks like, or maybe a bomber. <sighs> okay, well, I think we're gonna call it here for the day on uh, airships. I'm gonna be back in about 15 minutes and we're going to play some something else. Not quite sure yet. All right. See you in a bit, folks.